It has now been more than a week since a Secret Service sex scandal in Colombia exploded into public view. As Bill Plant reports from the White House, the scandal doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie. As this investigation enters its second week, six of the 12 Secret Service agents implicated have either resigned or been fired. And this morning, there's word of another agent who has taken a prostitute to a sensitive location. It, it, it just gets more troubling. Five nights before the president's arrival, a 12th Secret Service official who was not previously under investigation brought a prostitute to the Hilton Hotel in Cartagena, the hotel where the president later stayed. White House staff, the press, and the other 21 Secret Service officials and members of the military implicated in the scandal stayed here at the Hotel Caribe. There are now six Secret Service personnel who have left their jobs in the wake of the incident. Four have chosen to resign. The other two are supervisors. David Cheney has retired. Greg Stokes has been fired but has a chance to appeal. The key thing here is not that they were prostitutes. It's the fact that foreign nationals were brought back into a security area on the eve of the trip of the president of the United States goes against everything the Secret Service stands for. Two senators, including Joseph Lieberman, who has oversight of the Secret Service, are asking the White House to make sure no administration staffers on the Columbia trip are involved. If anybody at the White House asks for my counsel on this, I would say they ought to be launching their own internal review of all White House personnel. But for some on Capitol Hill, questions remain about a cultural problem in the Secret Service, where only 11 percent of the agents are women. I can't help but wonder if there have been more women as part of that detail, if this ever would have happened. Now, the woman whose complaint about money started all this is now represented by a lawyer who is offering to negotiate interviews with her for money. But get this, our reporter in Cartagena says that the lawyer himself wants cash just to talk about an interview. So far, we don't know if there have been any takers. Charlie, Erica. Bill Plan, thank you.